Hi, um, this video is my 23 week um, pregnancy vlog. Actually, I'm going to be talking about um, things that happened in the 22 weeks also. Um, so, I had a doctor's appointment and um, everything was good. I the baby, I took Adrian Elise with me and they got to hear the baby's heartbeat again. Baby's heartbeat was good. Also, what else? Um, I think I don't I don't know how much weight I've gained. I think I, I'm still at like 15 pounds that I've gained so far. So that's good. There was no concern for anything. The doctor, she always asks me, do I have any concerns? But everything that I have a concern with is normal in pregnancy. And so I did talk to her about <clears throat> my heart rate which it's, it usually happens when I eat. I don't know. And she said, maybe it's something I'm eating that it make my heart beat real fast. And then I'll, I get like pounding headaches. But she said, oh, that's probably just something you're eating. Of course, doctors never take anything that serious. But I didn't feel like it was anything really serious. I just wanted to let her know and see if she thought it was anything different. But uh, she wasn't too concerned. And told her that I'm losing my breath, you know, like I can't catch my breath. Totally, that's totally normal. I already knew that that was normal because the uterus is pushing up all the other organs. And so my lungs are compressed and, um, well, especially if I'm sitting down, I cannot breathe. Like right now, I'm having a hard time breathing. So it's like I have to keep taking a breath every time I talk. Um, but when I'm standing up, it's a little bit better. But if I'm moving a lot, it gets worse. Because I can't take deep breaths, so... And then she said that the fainting, like, feeling is probably because I can't take in deep breaths, too. Which I kind of already knew. Um, she also measured... This is the first time since this pregnancy that she actually measured the fundal height. I've been measuring it on my own, so the fundal height is the top of the uterus. So I've been measuring it on my own just since I knew I found out I was pregnant that I... Till I since I could find my uterus, so I, I was measuring that already. But this is the first time she measured it during this pregnancy. And although at the time of my doctor's appointment, I was 22 weeks, she said that, cause I was like, I feel really huge. Like she was like, well, she said, well, the baby seems to be just a few days ahead. But she was, so she measured me. She was like, yeah, you are, you are measuring 24 weeks. And I'm only, tw I was only 22 weeks. so. She said I was measuring two weeks ahead. So my body is measuring two weeks ahead. And she was like, yeah, you probably won't make it to 40 weeks. So she was like, this will probably be a, a little bit of an early delivery. So, um, which I expected because Adri and Elise were born at in the 38 week, after 38 weeks. So um, that's not a shock to me. Um, I'm, I'm thinking I'll probably do the same. Cause I don't know if there's any possible way to that my body could carry a baby to 40 weeks and that'd be safe for me because I have a, a smaller frame. Um, Adri was eight pounds at 38 some weeks, and when I had her, that was uh, that was detrimental to my body. Elise was eight pounds, but she was a little under eight pounds, so it wasn't as bad having her, but it was still. Those, they're big babies for my small frame um so that so that 20 i measured 24 weeks that explains why i feel so huge and actually like recently i've been getting really self-conscious about how how big i am and i don't know there's, there's something new i never felt so self-conscious before i usually i usually with the other pregnancies i wanted to get to show i wanted to be bigger but now i'm feeling self-conscious because people are asking me like when are you due I'm like December, still August, and they're like, "Wow, like you're poking out like that already," and that kind of has me thinking, like, "Man, like I do have all of September, all of October, all of November, and supposedly half of December. That's a long time. That's a lot of baby that has to grow, and so it's kind of frightening me and getting me kind of down. But I'm trying to get over it, you know, it's not that serious. But this I have hormones, so that makes it worse." Um, another thing, the, the girls, they can't, they cannot get enough of the the baby in the belly. The baby, they saw the, be the, the, um, we can see the baby move just by looking at my belly. They love that. 
They love to feel the baby kick. They talk to the baby constantly. They sing ABCs to the baby. They sing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star constantly. Like this baby is going to know who they are, like completely. Um, like it's constant. When we go out, if we go to different places, Adri's always telling the baby where we're going, where we're at. She'll tell the baby it's time for you to eat. Whenever I'm starting to eat, is is really really sweet. But they are they cannot get they are constantly around my belly. Um, they're always hugging my belly, always laying on my belly, trying to hear the baby. It's really cute. It's really sweet. Um, I, I feel like um, when my sleeping habits are getting horrible too. Um, I'm not sleeping enough. I wake up so much during the middle of the night. And now it seems like I have this the real urge to, to, to pee. And then when I go, nothing. Like, it's just not, it's not like a lot. It's just it's like I keep on feeling the urge to go and I go pee and it's not a lot so I'm like this is this is a waste of my time it's a waste of my sleep so I'm, I'm really I'm waking up so I'm trying I try I try really hard to just sleep through it but my body will wake up when it feels that urge to have to go to the bathroom like my body just wakes up automatically it's like I can't do anything about it um it's, it's very I have a lot of aches and pains in the morning like for the first hour or two after I get up in the morning, I'm completely sore. My arms, everything, my legs, my legs go numb in the middle of the night. Because, I don't know, it's, it's really, it's really a situation right now on my sleep. But getting through it, trying to, and um, yeah, already like, and then to, to uh, move from one side to the other, it's like a chore already, it's like, a lot that has to go into me moving from one side to the other i still ha have the i still want to sleep on my stomach because i'm a stomach sleeper but i can't so the the tricks that i was using to to be able to sleep on my stomach are not working as well as they were before because i'm getting bigger so sometimes it's like i have to just resort to just sitting up to sleep so got a couple more weeks i mean a couple a few more weeks of that um, I'm saying like probably like 15 more weeks of this, I think 15, 16 more weeks of being pregnant. So, um, it's going faster than I even imagined. We're I'm more than halfway there and it's, it's just, it's crazy how fast it's going by. Um, and I'm trying to, to stay in the moment and, and, you know, cherish it cause it's probably the last time. Um, but yeah. It is a lot. It's a lot to do when I have two kids I have to run after and take care of and trying to get them the bath water ready is getting like impossible. I can't even lift them anymore. Like that's not even going to happen. So it, it's, it's a lot to, to handle, but I, I'm not complaining. I enjoy it. I, I would do it over and over and over again. I wouldn't give it up for the world. So yeah, that is my 23 week update. Um, and I'm going to do a belly shot and oh, and I'm going to show something, a little something that I got from the doctor's office. Here's my 23 week belly. I actually can breathe today, but... Uh, probably temporary, but that's 23 weeks So they were giving these things away at the doctor's office and all it is is Similac It's a Similac thing full of Similac Samples, but I love this bag. I love bags. I'm a bag person. So um, I picked this up and I thought this would be perfect to take to the hospital Or to put in my hospital bag for when I go into labor and put whatever like you know um toiletries in here i have bags but i just thought this was just really cute and convenient it has a little little hook on here and this could just go to the into the bathroom or whatever but here's what it has in it just some sam, sam, similac samples that i am not um planning on using because i'm i'm, I'm hoping i can breastfeed again you never know but they got the four little already made bottles and some plastic 
little containers. Now these I can use for breastfeeding. So this is useful. And some coupons and nipples. But like I said, I am really banking on breastfeeding. So I won't need this. But you never know. Okay, hope you can see the light is not that good in here. It's dark. It's nighttime. So, this is the changing table. And it's already put together. It, it looks like it's like in perfect condition. Has two um, row shelves, two shelves, and they're they got a lot of space. And then it's even a changing pad. It's like a comfy one. It's not the one I have is really flimsy. It's flat. This is like really comfortable. And then the screws to the crib. The crib is all taken apart. So. Um, I'm going to move this though into the basement for now um but it matches it's like a nice style and the color that I already have to the furniture in case I need it but this is easy to find this color it's easy to find I also have a Moby wrap always wanted one of these um I had bought a wrap before it was really cheap and it just was not what I wanted it is it was I was disappointed in it but I still used it but I'm looking forward to using this and I also have two harnesses but those are completely different but um, I have to figure out how to use put this on so I might practice um, soon to see how to do that but i'm excited for this oh did i say oh yeah these are the screws so that is the crib and the changing table that i'm really excited to have and grateful to have it's really nice it looks like it's in perfect condition and it's all free <laughs>